it's alive. Hey there friends, Alex Lokes here and welcome back to the channel. Today I have a film review for you and not just one film but rather three films and I am of course talking about the Film Photography Project's core monster line of film. That is the 100 speed Wolfman, the 200 speed Frankenstein and the recently released 400 speed Mummy film. And the FPP have been involved in repackaging and bringing out some amazing film stocks. All of them are, of course, rebadged films, and out of respect for the FPP and my good friend Mike Rosso, I'm not going to tell you what brand of film these actually are, but all I know is that the art is incredible and the film is freshly manufactured and rebadged to the monster line. And if you're a fan of the FPP, you know that the guys there have always been involved with B-Cinema Horror, so the monster branding is right on point. So I'm going to be shooting the three rolls through my Roloflex 2.8F in various locations around Oakville and will be developing in Spur HRX. And I will be giving you a little bit more detail about how I'm shooting these films because I won't be shooting them at box speed. So it's a beautiful fall day, perfect for shooting Wolfman. Let's get walking because I'm starting to get hungry like the wolf, man. Okay, so first roll, FPP Wolfman 100. This is a box speed of ASA 100. It's fine grain, it's sharp, and it has an absolutely beautiful contrast. So I'm going to be shooting this at its box speed of ASA 100 because that's the advised box speed for Spur HRX. And I'm here in the beautiful St. Mary's Pioneer Cemetery here in Oakville. This is the oldest burial ground for the town of Oakville and has some of the earliest pioneers and founders of the town, including the original Chisholm family, who basically is the founding family for it. So it's quiet, it's noon, I got beautiful set of lights, I got a yellow filter on, let's get shooting. Now of the three monster films, 
the monster films themselves. Wolfman is the only one that I've actually worked with before. I've worked with it in 35 millimeter and in 120. In fact, the first appearance on this channel is in my video called Morning, and you can check it out in the link above in the corner. But this is a film that works really well at box speed. It loves being developed in HC 110 or Ilfotec HC. And surprisingly, but actually for the FPP, not so much, in D96 stock. And it just really sings. It gives that cinematic look that D96 is so prone to give. But I got another half roll to go. Let's keep walking. Well, that covers it for the first roll. I will see you tomorrow in downtown Oakville for roll number two. Okay, next roll, FPP Frankenstein 200. Now this came out a couple of years ago. It's described as a mid-speed film great tonal range and good grain. I've always had a few problems with 200 speed films, bit of a love-hate relationship. So today I'm actually going to be overexposing it slightly. I'm shooting it at ASA 125, no yellow filter. And the reason I'm shooting it at 125 is that's the ideal speed for the Spur HRX development. The Dr. Frankenstein's in, let's go.
You know, I honestly feel that 200 speed films just try too hard. There are 400 speed films that have finer grain than most 200 speed films that I've encountered. And of course, 100 speed films that have finer grain. 200s, they kind of try to be that in-between phase and don't really do a good job. I mean, Svema 200, Derevpan 200, Rolly Superpan 200, Ilford S F S F X 200, they all are far more grainy than some 400 speed films I know. So that's really why I'm, I'm not a fan of those mid-speed films, except Gold 200, but that's a whole other ball game whatsoever. But like any film, if you're not quite happy with how it looks, change it up, develop it differently. That's what I started doing and I've gotten good results. Or just use a compensating developer, 510 Pyro, T-Max, whatever. But halfway through the roll, still got another six to go. Let's keep walking. There we have it, another roll done. And I'm actually really looking forward to uh, seeing how it turns out. You've already seen how it turns out. I haven't yet, the joys of YouTube. But I actually find that this film stock works best with a bit of overexposure. And that theme's going to uh, carry on for tomorrow's roll. So I will see you then. Okay, third and final roll, FPP's Mummy Film. This is the newest film released earlier this year. It's a box speed of ASA 400, but I'm going to be shooting it one stop over at ASA 200 because that's what the development for Spur HRX calls for. So I'm here in McCraney Valley to take in the last vestiges of fall. There is a definite chill in the air at this point, but autumn is almost done. Let's get into The Mummy's Curse.
You know, most people will call this film a true 200 speed film. That 400 speed isn't its true box speed. Well, you know what? I honestly believe that it does look amazing at 200, but it can also look good at 400 as well. So shoot it any way you really want. The one tip I will give you if you are shooting it at box speed is to again, use one of those compensating developers. Personally, T-Max developer at full speed is excellent. And what's even more is that this is a nice classic looking emulsion. In fact, I would go so far that kind of looks like Tri-X from the 1970s. Not that I was alive, but I've seen plenty of images. All right, rest of the roll to shoot. Let's go. And there we have it, the three core monster films photographed. Now there is a fourth one, Dracula, which is an ASA 64 film, but it comes from a separate company and is only available in 35 millimeter. However, the 100, 200 and 400 films are available in 35 millimeter, 120. FPP re-spools it onto custom molded 620 spools for your 620 cameras as well as 4x5 and 8x10 and it is honestly the cheapest 8x10 film out there cost per sheet and you know what the one thing i like about rebranded film especially the boutique brands is that they truly show off the unique characteristics of whomever is putting it out the monster line is perfect for the FPP, just like Cosmo Photos Mono 100 has that sweet Soviet era look to it. And of course their recent release, Agent Shadow. So that's it for this video. Um, I really want to give a huge shout out to Mike Rosso and the Film Photography Project. I honestly wouldn't be where I am today as a photographer without them. They've always been friendly, super helpful, always willing to share knowledge with whomever asks and is truly a driving force for good within the film photography community. So if you haven't purchased items from their store, you can find a link in the description below and give a listen to the podcast. It is quirky, it is funny, and they have close to 300, they are now pushing 300 episodes. And I am so pleased to be, to have worked with them in the past and continue to maintain that relationship. Whenever I'm in the area, I do my best to try and drop in and say hi. So they are definitely worth it. Um, so yeah, big thanks, Mike Rosso, John Fideli, Dwayne Polku, Matt Marosh, Leslie Lanesenby, Mark Delzell and Dane Johnson and Darren Riley have all been fantastic and huge influences. If it hadn't been for them, I wouldn't have a blog, a podcast of my own, and this YouTube channel, and I definitely 
would not be developing my own film at home, both color and black and white. So let me know in the comments, what is your favorite horror film to watch at Halloween? Personally, I really enjoy Silent Hill, the first one, and Session 9. Definitely worth visits, and I think if you know me, you'll honestly understand why I like those films so much. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that bell notification icon. I release videos two, three times a month, so there's always new content coming up on a regular basis. Until next time, my name's Alex Laux. Get out there, stay safe. What shoe?